Chapter 4 Christians Unjustly Condemned for Their Mere Name By the mere application of a name, nothing is decided, either good or evil, apart from the actions implied in the name, and indeed, so far at least as one may judge from the name we are accused of, we are most excellent people. But as we do not think it just to beg to be acquitted on account of the name, if we be convicted as evildoers, so, on the other hand, if we be found to have committed no offence, either in the matter of thus naming ourselves or of our conduct as citizens, it is your part very earnestly to guard against incurring just punishment by unjustly punishing those who are not convicted. For from a name neither praise nor punishment could reasonably spring, unless something excellent or base in action be proved. And those among yourselves who are accused, you do not punish before they are convicted, but in our case you receive the name as proof against us, and this although, so far as the name goes, you ought rather to punish our accusers. For we are accused of being Christians, and to hate what is excellent, Christian, is unjust. Again, if any of the accused deny the name, and say that he is not a Christian, you acquit him, as having no evidence against him as a wrongdoer. But, if any one acknowledge that he is a Christian, you punish him on account of this acknowledgement. Justice requires that you inquire into the life both of him who confesses and of him who denies that by his deeds it may be apparent what kind of man each is. For as some who have been taught by the Master Christ not to deny him give encouragement to others when they are put to the question, so, in all probability, do those who lead wicked lives give occasion to those who, without consideration, take upon them to accuse all the Christians of impiety and wickedness. And this also is not right. For of philosophy too, some assume the name and the garb who do nothing worthy of their profession, and you are well aware that those of the ancients, whose opinions and teachings were quite diverse, are yet all called by the one name of philosophers, and of these some taught atheism, and the poets who have flourished among you raise a laugh out of the uncleanness of Jupiter with his own children. And those who now adopt such instruction are not restrained by you, but, on the contrary, you bestow prizes and honours upon those who euphoniously insult the gods.